Hey everyone, my name is Chef Christine from Virtual Table, and today I'm going to show you how to make Café Sida, also known as Vietnamese coffee. Vietnamese coffee has become a huge part of Vietnamese culture. A lot of people get together over a cup of coffee just to catch up and relax. In the 1800s, the French introduced the first coffee beans to Vietnam, and naturally they introduced condensed milk as well, since a lot of Vietnamese cuisine doesn't have much dairy to it. Another version of this classic beverage is Vietnamese egg yolk coffee, where we take an egg yolk, whisk it up with some condensed milk to create an egg foam. And after your coffee is filtered using that fiend, you place that egg foam right on top and mix it together. The reason why Vietnamese coffee is so dark is because it uses robusta beans, and 97% of these robusta beans come from Vietnam. Today, 20% of the world's production of coffee comes from Vietnam. Café Sida is our classic Vietnamese coffee. Café means coffee and Sida. Sida means milk and Da means ice. This right here is called a fin, also known as a Vietnamese coffee filter. You put your grounds inside, use this top part to press down the grounds and make them nice and even, and then you would pour water on top, first to bloom it, and then you could pour more water to make your coffee. This is Café du Monde, which is the most popular coffee used to make Vietnamese coffee here in America. It was popularized after the Vietnam War once immigrants started coming over and using this New Orleans coffee to make their Vietnamese coffee. Now let's get to making some Café Sida. So before we turn on our water, we are going to empty condensed milk right into the cup. Do as much condensed milk to your liking. We do recommend maybe two to three tablespoons. This coffee filter will be placed directly on top of our cup. This top part will be used to press down these coffee beans as we are filtering out our coffee. So very gently add in your coffee. This is about one fourth cup of Café du Monde. I got them nice and flat in my filter. And with this top piece, I'm gonna gently press it down to get a nice and even surface. Just like so. Just a little few taps, almost as you're making espresso. So I have my small saucepan about half full with water. I'm going to barely take a fourth cup, maybe about one eighth cup, and slowly add it to my filter. This is the initial pour, so we want it to get nice and soft before we go with more water all the way to the top. It's slowly dripping out some coffee right now. A very gentle pour. And once I see there's no more residual water at the top, that's when I wanna add a little bit more water to get things going. Just like so. And once it starts dripping faster, that's my indicator to know I can add a little bit more water all the way to the top. And if you see some of these coffee grinds come up to the top, that's totally normal. Just let them float through. good amount of coffee in my cup so I'm gonna go ahead and stir it all up we really get that light color from that mixture of condensed milk and our dark coffee give it a good mix and I could tell just by the color this one's going to be super dark you could add again add as much condensed milk as you like and if you need it to be sweeter add a little bit of sugar or honey whatever you have at home so this is what my consistency looks like. And that's how you make Café Sida. Hope you enjoy.